Greetings everyone, this is BJ Black from No Expert For You and welcome to part 100 of my Let's Play of Amayui Castle Meister. We just started chapter 8 and they said that we had to do this and that in order to qualify for this scene. So here we go. You better sit down though, this is going to be a long one. So anyway, if I was working in his workshop, as usual, and Il appears, you know she's hard to sense, and says something. <laughs> so, Captain, be careful. Okay, so what happened is happening. Someone bad's coming. Someone bad. So immediately after saying it, into the workshop comes someone. But as he all said, this guy has a very bad aura about him. Yeah. Well, it's Gaido. He says a long time no see, and it seems he that He's interrupting Avaro in his work. Guy doll. Bad guy. <laughs> oh. Bad guy. She is so cute. <laughs>単的で分かりやすい評価だね。悲しいけれど、よく見てくれていると思えば悪くない。well, that's a very simple and easy to understand assessment of him. It makes him sad, but since they're looking at him properly, he's, it's not that bad. He, in fact, Gaido looks rather pleased with himself. Well, we start by introducing him as a bad guy, and he's still, and he's still happy about it. Well. Azavaro says, that's pretty creepy. Avaro's thinking to himself that he ought to tell the knights and other residents to kick this guy out if he ever comes in again. So, what do you want? He has a very, very important business here. So important that you have to come in and talk to me directly, huh? Exactly. This is something so important that it will decide our destiny. Destiny. Wait, our? Of all, can't help but think that this is going badly already. And he's got that usual system of talking where he's... I've figured out that he makes this attempt at sounding pleasant and affable, but... Well, it's pretty transparent. Avaro says there's nobody here but myself and Eel. If it's that important, then we should get Fia and, well, other important people. That's all right, isn't it? Well, Guide All thinks that it would actually go fastest. No, he says it would actually go easiest. If it, were, if it were just he and Avaro having the talk. All right, I'll go call everybody. You wait here. Ha! Sucker. So we entrusted Eel to keeping him in place and call everybody. So, once we've gathered everybody together, we come back to Gaidal.
Interesting, Fia is the only one that looks surprised at this and for some reason seems very uneasy about it. <laughs> so, Gaidal, today as usual, you're all black. Oh, well, thank you for the praise. It makes him happy that he took the time to prepare special clothes for the occasion. Well, she wasn't praising you. But if you're happy about it, that's good. Huh. Of our thinking of himself, so he specially prepared this. It's exactly the same as normal. And he's actually saying that he's taken special care for today in particular. Hmm, interesting. So, what's this important business? Hmm. Alright, this time he's come in order to properly form a contract with us. So, he's here with the offer. So, he's seriously trying to entice us with whatever he's going to throw at us. Okay, so he wants us to join hands with him and together head for the God's Haze. We refuse. We don't want to put our our ambitions together with yours. <laughs> <laughs> As usual, we come to a conclusion quickly. Yeah, easy conclusion. But it's simply too fast. We haven't finished talking yet. <laughs> the conclusion's already come out, so why don't you understand? Oh, yeah. Gaidal recognizes Kisner as a knight who was in third ranking visiting general visiting um officer status. So Anyway, Gaidal's recognized Kisner as well, working under Gilsh already. So apparently he's done his research. But what he's saying now is, what do you mean by the conclusion's been reached? As a negotiation goes, it really begins after the first refusal. Heh, if you say so. Well, hearing Gaidal say this, Kisner narrows her eyes. So he plans on properly joining hands with us, huh? With what mouth are you saying that? That's kind of a thing where... Given what he's said with that mouth before, how can you say what you're saying now? So he having attacked civilians before and opposed us for, well, trying to save them. You don't think we've forgotten that, have you? So that's the thing about Rubeta Teremes. He's wondering. He was saying that that was a sad misunderstanding. Tadano Kimetske de Hihan Sare Totemo Kizuzi de Shimata. 
アバロ君が責任を取ってくれると嬉しいな。そう、seeing Kisner come to jump to such a conclusion about him really wounds him. He hopes that Avaro will take responsibility for this. Is he really trying to pin Kisner with being unreasonable? Ah, huh, whatever. Creepy. All kinds of creepy. So, no tide of a valer and a techie guy she will wound it to eat in the dark. Kisner says that his attitude is one of the things that's seriously turning us off to him. He all opposes it as well. He all opposes it as well. Even he all. This makes him sad. Okay, we can't trust him. Kimochi no komotta sotchok na ikken da ne. Sankou ni shita hou ga ii kamo shire na ii yo, Abaro kun. Well, that's a passionate opinion we got from Eel there. Maybe you should take into take it into account, Avaro. Watashi mo kono hito ni kyoryoku shita ku arimasen. So Katorito also doesn't want to cooperate with this person. Ima sugu ni demo chousai kara. So much so that she would actually like him to leave the castle right now. Oh man. Ah yes, Katorito also had that thing with her father connected to Gaidal already. Man, seriously, this guy—he's got a lot of nerve. So this is in regards to the dragon chief that was killed, and Gaidal here was almost certainly pulling the strings. In case you weren't paying attention in the last scene, they gotta repeat it. And for someone as kind as Katorito to say something so harsh, this guy is bad. Okay, let's ask Gaidal. Did you? Hmm. It's like setting his hand against the guy. Let me think. Did you move against the previous dragon chieftain, Shiu Kettle? 突然なんだい。シウケトル？一体何のことかな？ <laughs> He's playing dumb. What's this all of a sudden? Shiu Kettle, what exactly is that? Don't play dumb. The chieftain died under mysterious circumstances, and the dragon tribes all fell into a big ass civil war because of it. If you're the ones who did it, then it's not something that's so easily to easy to forgive. Okay, who told us this? You smug sack of shit. Stop smiling already. Anyway, Avaro says we don't need to reveal our sources. Ma, iyo. Dare ka wa sozo ga tsuite. Zehyou ko karumeru gudo no daro. Well, it's all right. Who it is, he can imagine already. Ice Lord Kalmerg, right? So, sir, tada kuchi de setsume sareta dake de, jisai ni watashi ga yatta to iu shouko mo nai. And he just said this to us, and in reality, they don't actually. He didn't actually have any proof. It's kind of suspicious that he knows exactly whom to blame. Sinao na hanno da, wakari yasui ne. Sore dake ni kimi tachi ga shinpai da yo. So Katorito's gasp there was a simple reaction and easy to understand, but also because of that, he's worried about us. Gyaku ni shitsumon sasete morao ka. 
カルメルグが嘘をついている可能性を考えたことがあるかい So, in reverse, he'd like to ask a question himself. Have you considered up to this point the possibility that Carl Merg may have lied? He has no reason to lie. Jibun no tsumi o watashi ni kabuse yo to shita no kamo shire nai. So yatte Abaro kun ni tori iro to shita no kamo. Well, perhaps. By blaming it on Gaidal here, he was actually trying to cover his own sins. And then, by doing so, get into o f a r o s good favor. If he doesn't have any proof, well, it's an argument without substance. Well, even so, we don't have any to believe you either. And in any case, it looks like nobody on the castle wants to actually join hands with you. Avaro includes himself specifically. Oh, how harsh. To think that he was hated this much around here. But he also imagined this would be true beforehand. If you knew this, why didn't you, why didn't you just give up before coming? Well, Avaro was thinking that everyone would refuse, but in contrast to his thoughts, there were some different opinions that come out. Well, it's true that he has a bad atmosphere about him, but perhaps we shouldn't hate him because of that. Ah, yeah. Well, as expected of a god, her heart is quite broad here, and he is glad and thankful for her endorsement. Yeah, but no, she's not actually endorsing him or anything. You just, she just thinks that to be hated just because you're suspicious, it's a little pitiful. Again, just having pity on him for. Ugh. I don't want to think about having pity for him. Okay, this is where Yo tells Fia that Gaidal is the one who kidnapped Mikeu even though she had nothing to do with it. Yeah, it's been a while, but、uh, that was the end of chapter two. And he's an incredibly bad guy. Yeah, I guess that's news to me, Kayu. Oh, is that so? In that case, no good. Fia is opposed as well. <laughs> so, in the end, the people on Gaidal's side is not even one person, is it? The impression he gives off is really quite bad. He's always misunderstood. How sad. <laughs> Avaro saying, We're not particularly misunderstanding you at all. And、uh, so, with that, the conversation's over. You can leave. Alright, alright. Now we should get started. Or enter into the main topic, he says. So, Gaidal didn't come here without any conditions or offerings for. His part in this. 
So unlike last time, he's not going to make the same mistakes. So he's actually going to offer us something in exchange for our cooperation. So he's prepared some souvenirs. Well, it's usually translated as souvenirs, but we will shortly see that it's got a much broader... At least he's using it in a much broader sense. He thinks we'll like them. So, he apparently learns nothing and continues the conversation anyway. Why won't he just leave? Let's review the current situation. So he has confirmed that of our own company have come under Maz Teria's eyes. So the castle has been confirmed as a taboo by Mazteria. Mazteria attempted to destroy it, and the people of our own company attempting to defend it had a battle. Check. Afia kind of looks down, and Mikshuana just quietly glares at Gaidal. So, in order to release the god from this condition, we're headed to Fuchsia's, the Fuchsia face holy ground. Is that right? Well, yes, that's correct. Now, why Galdal happens to know that is a mystery. So, the directness of his actions are very correct, he says. As expected of Avaro, he is a comrade of Gaidal's in reforming the world of its mistakes. Well, now that's an interesting conclusion to come to with all that. To, to such an extent that it's hard to understand your meaning exactly. It's true that we cross swords with Masteria's army, but it's because Fia is important to us. We're not trying to fix the world mistakes or any nonsense like that. God all continues to make that unpeer, the uh, peerless smile, and come close to of our own fear. Oh, this isn't what I think it is, is it? Ah, well, back the fuck up. All right, let's get to the conclusion. A method of saving the god exists, he says. Wow. Well, that's... Okay, that's a pretty good offer, if it's something he can back up. So, Fia's face seizes up and she freezes. So if we go to the holy ground, the goddess can be saved. And we don't need to do anything drastic like destroy the entire castle. And in fact, everybody can smile and hold hands afterwards. That's such a method we will f can find there. This is because in the God's Haze, the way that the Garalakuna castle was formed is sleeping. That is, the methods of manufacture are somewhere in there. 
So if you know how it was made, you can also understand a method of cutting it out. It's a simple and clear plan, and isn't it wonderful? What the hell? What's he mean by that? Oh, so he's thinking that Abaro has thought of this sort of stuff before. Ah, but we were planning on going there anyway, but he's here to tell us that the castle as it is now can't actually get there. It doesn't have enough power. Its true power has yet to be released. And the true form of the castle is not what you see before you, around you, under you. <laughs> so, what we're asking here is how the hell do you know that? Okay, the God's Haze is a holy ground, and nobody is able been, has a been able to get into it. That's been pretty much set in stone for quite some time now. So, we've been thinking, some people have been thinking, that the only method of saving Fia is to destroy this. And there isn't anybody that knows it anything about it. And because of this, within the, there is nobody who knows about what lies within the holy ground. In fact, we've been searching for one, but, oh, we found one, was it? To think it would be Gaidal. <laughs> Ah, so he's saying he's a merchant. And from various places, he gets information. And anyway, don't get so excited. He did say beforehand that he had these souvenirs. Like I said, it must be a really broad definition of souvenir. And of course, it's not only this simple information that he came with. He has something specially for Avaro. Ah, fuck. Well, this is bad. Now, we're still wary of him, but... He's got Navarro's attention, and at this point, he doesn't want to kick his ass out anymore. Navarro has actually thought to himself, please keep talking. And please actually tell him faster how we can save Fia. So let's start with that story of the past. If we don't do it, then it won't come together. Uh, okay, continuing with his usual way of speaking, he actually launches on a story like he's dancing or something. So once upon a time, the present god Fiusia, leading an army, fought against certain humans that were fighting for hope. The point of conflict was this. These humans, who were fighting Fiusia, we're tired of living under the present gods 
and wish to return to their peaceful lives under the old gods. They wanted to get out of their situation wherein they were forced to believe in the present gods and treated like farm animals that offered their prayers to them. So, this is about the humans that wanted to resurrect the old gods. And Fia can't do anything but twist her face up painfully. Well, that's probably the right, right reaction. And anyway, <clears throat> excuse me, in the past these few Shia holy wars were between the present gods and certain people who were trying to resurrect the old gods. We kind of knew that. Fia as a present god would naturally be pretty hard put about the whole thing. <laughs> So, these humans who wanted to go back to the old gods offered their opinions to the present gods and they were obviously turned down immediately. After all, their faith, which was power to the gods, would no longer go to the present gods and said present gods would not allow it. But, amongst the present gods, there were certain ones that sympathized with the humans. The kind ones, he says. So this was a deeply compassionate god who, like Fia here, truly considered humans for their own right. So these humans together with a few present gods and spirits, elemental spirits, joined hands together and formed certain weapons. Gualacuna Castle is among them, and they were quite powerful, great creations. This is something that was created by humans and gods working together. Okay, wait. If that's true, then Fia, of her own free will, in order to help these humans who wanted to be free, she made a she may have sealed herself inside here herself. So Gaidal gives a smile and actually doesn't answer the question. The first god that cooperated was a certain present god called Paraya. And following that, there were other gods that came around. Now, the first story we heard about this was actually not that Paraya was helping them, but that Paraya was kidnapped by them. Okay, we'll get to it eventually. So, Fia's thinking that she actually did it herself. 
Sophia's taking deep breaths and kind of turning things over in her head. Paraya no shihaika ni yatta shinkyo no sanro toyu basho de kazukazu no heiki o umidashi. Kami wa mizukara buki to natte ningen zoku o shien shita. So, in the God's Haze, at that time within Pariah's domain, they created several of, well, many, many of these weapons. And those gods on our side took it upon themselves to be, become weapons and support the humans in that fashion. And that's how the war started. In this area that's now called the Holy Ground. That's where they were created. And the present gods that opposed it. Well, there were some pretty big things going down. So this is how the Holy Grounds were formed, huh? So, the castle was made in the God's Haze. You know, come to think of it, we've had a couple other major battlegrounds of the war that kind of turned into blasted lands afterwards. There was the Withered Ravine and the... the Way of Flowing Spirits. Both of them pretty harsh wastelands. And... Well, well, we already know the conclusion of that war. In the end, the humans were defeated. So this great power that the humans created was cast aside as a taboo and its form of manufacture in everything left of it was sealed inside of the God's haze. So if we go there we'll be able to save Fia. And that's how Gaidal knows all of this. Interesting history. So, if you win, you rule, and the winners make the history. Looking at it from the perspective of the present gods, the humans did this of their own initiative and sealed these gods into these weapons. So the humans were cast as these great villains and that's how it's been passed down amongst other people. Amongst, uh, well, we can call it the typical history. <laughs> Again, he says it's a sad misunderstanding. Him, it's a sad misunderstanding, seriously. So, these humans that are always at the losing end of things finally receive a totally un unwarranted um, outcome. So, why? Why what? Why do you know so much about this? <laughs> ah, good one, Navarro. This isn't something that a simple merchant would normally get his hands on. Well, it's true that the typical history is what's been taught to everybody else. Why would he have, you know, alt history on his hands? So, hearing the question, he smiles again. 
長くこのグアラクーナ城塞を探してきたんだ In truth, Gaidal here has been searching for Gualikuna Castle for a good long time. Ah, Motion, Kono Josai Dakejanayo. Kono Kamino Shinko, Gendo Lukto Suru Kiko, Sangaste Kitato Yuimida. Well, it's not just the castle, by the way. All of these devices which turn the gods' faith as into their power source, he's been looking for. Nani se Mitskata Hashkara. 神に壊されていく正直もう諦めかけていたのでもうどこにも存在していないんじゃないかとね。And anyway, when they were found, the gods went and broke them. Honestly, he was on the edge of giving up, thinking that no more of them existed in the world. だがアバロ君が見つけてくれた。But Avaro found one for him. So, this castle that was sleeping at the time, Avaro was able to rouse from its slumber and get moving. And thanks to that, Gaidal's dream has come true and his heart is dancing. Blech! Ugh, spare me the imagery. So the castle is your dream, is it, Gaidal? So then. Dakara Kimini Ko Yoshimiste. You may okanae te kreta daionjin dakara. That's right. And that's why he likes Avaro so much. You granted his dream and he owes you a great favor for it. So that's why he wanted to cooperate with the castle and with Avaro. But when he was researching it, a mysterious thing came to his knowledge. その力を変換し循環させるために。So the castle converts the god's energy into moving power, and that is well, there can't be an exception to that. And to that purpose, the inner devices have a have a god wrapped within the magic stones, and that's the way that it converts. That power into this power. But the god at this point is not completely sealed inside, is she? Well, as far as the con as the conversation continues, Avaro is getting less and less easy to calm himself down. So, why do you think that is? Why do you think that Avaro is able to bring the god out of that device? And Gaidel's running this conversation as if to wind Avaro up and test his mettle in learning these things. He's actually pretty skillful at it. Navarro can't put words together too well. I don't know, he says. To see, well, perhaps since they were sleeping for so long, the device that kept her sealed was broken, maybe? <laughs> Incorrect, however. But it's nothing to be embarrassed about. Given his knowledge, he can't come to the correct conclusion. After all, opposing this knowledge are the present gods. They've uh, specifically been, re been suppressing. 
What he needs to know. What he needs to know. So, Guide all happens to know that these humans that made it long ago, with the cooperation of those gods, made this device. But they set it so that outsiders would not be able to take advantage of it. <laughs> so, the specific setting of that is. Anybody who is not of the that does not draw the blood of the people who made this cannot move it at all. <laughs> so, hearing that and wrapping our heads around it, some of us start start shaking of our and Fia specifically, but perhaps others. So, Avaro was just journeying at random between countries and came to Influs Kingdom, where he got hired to research these ruins, which turned out to be the interior of the castle. And in an accident, he fell down into this chamber. Well, a chamber. They're not in the chamber at the moment. Gan found himself in front of Fia. And after that, Avaro reached out his hand. And bam! And since Avaro touched the magic stones in which Fia was sealed... Exactly! But since it's only half broken, and her, she's only been half released, she is still connected to the weapon. But because it was of all, this could happen. And only because it was him. The God's seal was broken. So, his destiny guided him here. As having the blood of the chosen humans, he was guided here. Hmm. So, you're saying Avaro was descended from the humans that fought against the present gods. Ah. Well, yes. In the conditions, you can find the proof yourself. Normally, in attempting to fix things up, none of this would work at all. So, that's why it was very happy. So, having learned all of this, Gaidal was very happy because he's found somebody who shares the same blood as he. So, Gaidal is one as well. Yes! Yes, and that's the reason why he knows all of this information. Although, there are parts of it he had to put together under his own power. Okay, why is Fia's seal only half broken? Well, as to that, wouldn't Navarro know the details just as well? After all, it is about you. Well, you put it that way, there's only one thing we can think of. 
with regards to blood, with regards to race. There's only one conclusion to come to. It's because I'm a half elf. So, that's so. Because half of his blood reacted and the other half did not. That's why the seal was only half broken. Is that so? Aw oh, man. I almost feel real shitty for being, you know, half blood and everything. Navarro's... He can't look at Fia's face right now. So, Navarro's wavering here. To think we did all of this for Fia, when it all could have been solved right at the very beginning, if only. Oh man, that is pretty crappy. But the conversation is not over. But seriously though, back the hell up. Ugly. So this is only the prelude to our co true conversation. We were just covering the conditions. Well, we were just covering the present situation. Okay, what do you mean by this? And now we're going to get into the true topic. That's right. This is where we get to the real exchange that he wants to make. Exchange. If we're going to call Gaidal an actual merchant, then yeah, that's the right words he should use. So having reviewed all the circumstances, haven't you thought of something about the methods here? So, if we want to break the God's seal, we don't need to go through a lot of trouble and face the danger of going into the God's haze. After all, there is a complete human, Gaidal here, who draws the same blood. But, as before, we need to continue to head there. Uh, Gaidal doesn't want it any other way. Is that so? So, if we will join hands with Gaidal, he will lend a hand in releasing the goddess. So in exchange, what do we have to do for you? Well, he said it, didn't he? Using this castle, he wants to come along into the god's haze. Well, if it would fa save Fia, In any case, we wouldn't actually have to go there at all. It's not necessary. Hey, hey. Stop right there. That way you're just getting what you want. Well, that's true. If we do it that way, Avaro gets what he wants, but Gaidal doesn't get what he wants. 
What kind of an exchange is that? Yeah. Can you get any uglier? No, I take that back. Don't even try. This is bad enough. So, Gaidel says what he wants. He wants his own castle. So he wants these old technology that allowed them to his allowed his people to make this stuff. And it's been sealed inside the god's haze way off in the distant past made into this taboo and all. That's what he wants. Yeah. He's really good exciting. You can tell on his face. Uh, after a fashion he discusses it like an innocent child would talk about a dream. <laughs> so Avaro. You can imagine what it's like, right? So, this complex device, to be able to make it again, to, to know that it isn't impossible, doesn't it excite him as a craftsman? Make his blood boil? So are you saying that you as a merchant also get your blood boiling about this? <laughs> He'll leave that to our imagination. Ha. Well, Gaidal's plan is easy to understand. We both get what we want and it's a pretty simple cooperation connection. Relationship of cooperation. Ne. Uh, TSS Avaro's name a couple times. What is it? So, Fia is asking if 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 we go with only Fia with Avaro and the others, there might be a way to save her. You know, without that. So, in the end, if we do go to the God's Haze, if we succeed, maybe we'll understand anyway? So, <laughs> God, I'll admit the possibility here. If Avaro were able to learn the prop, the way that the castle was made, he might be able to release Fia on his own. But even if he has the knowledge, putting it into practical use is another matter. So, we ask God, does he know if we'll be able to find a method? So, Oh, he wonders. Well, actually, he says he would be glad to tell him. But any more than he has explained to us already is part of the contract. If we want more information out of him, we'll have to agree to his demands first. And then he'll give of our all of the information that he has. In other words, if we don't join hands with you, you won't tell us anything. Yes. So, the souvenirs are at an end. He's already given up what he needs in order to facilitate this transaction. But if you 
城塞強化にだって手を貸す神を解放する代わりに私の目的に手を貸してくれ But if we agree to cooperate with him, he'll tell us how to break into the holy grounds barriers, strengthening the castle for, to that particular purpose. And in exchange for helping to free the god, they're going to lend our, we are going to lend our hands to his objectives. That's why Abaro is a friend. Because after all, Gaidal and Navarro are from the same town. Basically, he's saying they are brethren of a sort. We're kind of like family. No need to restrain yourself. <laughs> Won't you join hands with me? My brother. Oh god, I can't believe I said that. So, looks like this exchange might actually happen. Pretty bizarre. So, if we join hands with that, eventually we'll be able to free Fia. So, by cooperating with Gaidal, when we get to the God says, Fia will finally be saved. And also, Fia's wish of getting to the God says, you know, one of the first things she said when she came out of her magic stones that she wanted to go here. We grant that wish and we also break her out of that taboo state. But if we don't agree with him, then the outcome is definitely still in still in question. Yeah, but... Hmm. Yeah, he's saying that Gaidal definitely won't free Fia if we don't go to the God's Haze. In other words, the power of the castle is necessary. Interesting, he didn't actually say that. Navarro was also turning it head over again in his head the fact that even if we don't lend a hand to God, all we might be able to get there and we might be able to figure out the possibility of freeing her. Well, Fia's thrown out her idea. Funny how if her idea is like one sentence and Gaidal had an entire, I don't know, hour of talking. It says something about how bad Gaidal is that we're seriously considering this fool's errand for Fia. So Fia's kind of shaking about this. Naturally, she's wavering on this. Actually, her jaw is making a slight sound, quivering. And although she's saying Avaro's name, she doesn't actually look directly at him. Hmm. Everybody's worried, I guess. So, what will we do? Come on, you're the goddess, don't you call the shots? So. What would be right to do? Is it best to cooperate with this person? Okay, Theo, what do you want to do? I 
she doesn't know. So she's sorry. She doesn't know what's right to do. This, all this information is swirling in her head. It, it's, well, she's sorry for being pathetic like this. Well, Avaro understands as well. He's a bit confused on the inside too. Yeah, so much so he's almost swallowing his tongue. He thinks he'd kind of like some time to think it over. So, he asks for it. Will you wait for an answer to this question? He's certain, given enough time, that he'll come to a conclusion. And that's no good. He won't wait. We need to give him a response here and now. And if we don't, he isn't going to cooperate with us. We, he won't lend a hand to our freeing of the goddess, and he won't give us any more information. This is where we dis where we where we form our contract in good faith. So that we show that, not, that we are on equal footing and Avaro doesn't have the upper hand in the relationship. So, the information that he has given us and these sad misunderstandings that he's been hurt by so many times he's decided to set aside and he's showing his intention to be friends with Avaro. With Avaro. Everything up to now has been God all acting in good faith on, on behalf of forming this contract. So, please, Avaro, Gaidal doesn't want to turn you down either. So, Avaro slowly looks at Fia. Hoa. So, Fia, you want to know how you, we can save you, right? Yeah, she wants to know. She doesn't want to cause trouble for everyone. Hmm. And she doesn't want it to be hated by Avaro any more than she already is. Hmm. I wonder how she came to that conclusion. Yeah, but Avaro's thinking, you dummy. Is that what you've been thinking so far? So he's thinking that there's no way that he could hate her. Or even that he could think of her as a hindrance. Uh, but, but. Avar was pretty close to teaming up with Gaidal anyway. All this information we've gotten has stolen away Avaro's ability to stay calm and make rational decisions. So, kind of looking for someone who will save him. 
He checked with everybody else's. And they're all apparently looking at him. So, if by joining hands with this person, it would truly bring everybody happiness, then Avaro can set aside Katorito's business, but she still thinks that we can't trust him. So this is a time where we should take everything into account and make a decision. So we should consider both sides and finally come to a conclusion. <laughs> is that all Mikshuana has to say? I think we'd kind of get her opinion about the taboo thing. Since if everything goes Gaidal's way, well, tch, fine, if you don't want to talk about it, don't. See if I care. Rosaline says that no matter what decision comes of it, she's going to support Avara. <laughs> Hmm, Rishu and Celia admits that there's some advantage to it. And at the very least, whichever way they choose, it doesn't harm her position. Is she again telling about, talking about using the castle as a weapon of war in this Rao Rosso versus Infru's thing? And saying that she doesn't have any horse in this race? Man, Rishu and Sally has been frustrating to work with sometimes, but never up to now have I wanted to slap her ass so badly. Ah. <laughs> Well, it seems that this guy definitely knows the... has the knowledge more than we do. And we could gain something by joining with him. And then on the other hand, if we... refuse and turn him into our enemy, it's pretty clear... what we can imagine will happen next. <laughs> Well, Kissinger says that it's hard for her to make this decision. In any case, as a warrior, as a knight, she will defer to Avaro's judgment in this. Even Io will say that if it saves the goddess, She's okay with it. And Mikei also will go along with whatever of all who chooses. So Avaro looks at everybody and finally looks back at Fia. I really don't understand why everybody is so conflicted about this. Especially Fia. I mean, she decided at the beginnings, rather lightly, in fact, that she didn't want to join with Gaidal, and now she's all... She's a mess. I mean, listen to her. So, her face is all pained up. And she's, you know, showing her weakness all over. And of our answers. I've decided. 
for Fia's sake, Gaidal, go to hell. We're not going to lend our hands to you at all. Oh, ha ha. So, Gaidal narrows his eyes at us. May I ask your reason for this? All right, it's a simple logical deduction here. Because he doesn't want to sadden Fia. So hearing that, oh, the two of them apparently are holding hands. I must have missed that. Oh yeah. I was thinking in this one that she was just balding up her fist or something, but that was Avaro taking her hand. I'm sorry, I messed up. In any case, hearing these words, Fia squeezes Avaro's hand tight, and in response, Avaro squeezes back. So if we go to the God's Haze, the method of saving Fia will become clear to us. It's true that we can't... Be, there is no insurance that with Avaro's power alone we'll be able to fulfill it. We've said that already. Yes. Yes, that's what we said. When it comes right down to it, even if you know the method of manufacture, whether you'll be able to reverse engineer it is a different story. But, Avaro points out, even if we did join hands with you, there is no insurance that we can save her then either. You could have just been deceiving us this whole time. So in the end, it came down to which chance we want to take. And in the end, we just can't trust you. So how exactly does this relate to saddening your goddess? The person who most understands that would probably be you, Avaro thinks. <laughs> Surrounding you, there are so many people who are saddened. Yeah, probably suffering is a better word. So, first of all, people who have been trying who have been trying to leave Gaidal's organization are in fear for their lives. And furthermore, he involves people that aren't involved in order to get this through. This relating to Mikeu's kidnapping way back in chapter 2. So, Avaro doesn't want Fia to be connected to any person such as that. And that's the reason. That's it. Okay, sure, he had his guys kidnap Mikeu. But before that, he blackmailed Eol into attacking Avaro when he'd already when Eol had already completed Gaidal's task. And he nearly killed Eol in that whole Mikeu kidnapping thing. Following that, he was ruining a bunch of villagers in the Tranquilo Hills while the Mazteria were moving into their castle. And he helped with that. It bears note that the Mazteria army then fought us. That's like 150 angels fighting us, and Gaidal contributed to that particular cause. Likely with an ulterior motive. And then there was the murder of Shiu Kettle, which he was, which he was connected with as well. Oh, and we personally 
clashed with his organization and he was making like oh it's a misunderstanding and when we finally told him no at that time he fought us then this guy's list of crappy decisions in trying to make friends with Avaro is pretty damn long seriously like he took the idiot ball he ran down the field with it he spiked it in the end zone and then he threw fireballs into the spectators just because he could that's how evil this guy is and he still wants to be our friend huh no all right back to the proper translations here so he's not exactly pleased he, hell he's clearly unhappy here but Avaro's not backing down okay well said captain that was wonderful uh, no, seriously, he could have gone through the whole list of sins here. Anyway, Mikio as well smiles and nods. But having taken this decision, Gado thinks that it's not the most realistic choice. Navarro understands this as well. Well, among the things that we consider amongst realistic choices, we actually don't include sacrificing other people's lives. So, Guidel's huh, interesting. Guidel's eyelashes move. Oh no, not eyelashes, eyebrows. It's one of those uh, one of those flinches of the eyebrows. Okay, we know how this guy works. He gets what he wants through application of force and he's completely ignorant no not to say ignorant he completely disregards the suffering other of the people around him and simply prioritizes his own goals now this is also with regards to the altercation we had in rubeta termes Okay, that's one more sin we've added to his plate. So, it's true that we don't totally know that Gaidal was attacking the villages. Are you serious? But the Gaidal company was definitely doing it. それは君たちも同じだろう。結局は自分の目的を果たすために邪魔するものは力で根じ伏せていった。Yeah, but aren't we the same way as he is? In the end, in order to fulfill their objectives, we overpower people who get in our way. Well, when we fought it is in order to fulfill our wishes, but we don't escalate it to the actual fighting ourselves. In fact, we actually had to fight against people who were specifically attacking us. And even in those cases, we first attempted to find a way out of it without fighting. So, once we were unable to find a way to get through it in negotiations, that's when we fell back to actually fighting. So, don't group us in with you. We don't just take advantage of other people and then abandon them the win. 
when they're no longer of use to us. Differently from the Guide All Company, we'd like to point out. So, Guide All makes a big sigh. A bit playing it up. So, that, Guide All claims, is a Guide All company which actually has no basis which actually has only light basis in reality. So, since our goddess here is in danger, this is the time when we should make a more wise decision. We should make our decision realistically and do what's necessary, believing in the information we have. So you came to us all of a sudden with all this important knowledge to impart. And then didn't give us a way to run away from this exchange with you. There's no way we can believe you in the end. And more than anything else, we still don't have any insurance that you won't abandon Fia as well. And it's more than just the information we have at hand. It's the fact that you cannot be trusted. That's pretty much true. Yeah, and then there's the matter of the death of the previous eras, the previous dragon chieftain. It's true that we don't know for certain from Kalnerg's theory that it's true or not. But up to now, there is nobody who can actually vouch for you. And furthermore, Avaro is well among our allies. Most of us are opposed, and... Hmm. So, we can say that the answer is decided at this point. So, we'll say it as many times as we need to. We are not joining our ambitions together with you. Even if you make your proposal seem... alluring... We're not going to coordinate our actions with you. <laughs> so that's a pretty stubborn way of saying it. But is that all right? The goddess said it herself, didn't she? She doesn't want to be a burden on the people around her. And in order to fix that, the way to do so is right in front of you. And Gaidel has also said that the castle as it is now is unable to reach the god's haze. Well, as for the fear causing trouble for other people, Avar says that he does not think of any of these problems as a fear from as a burden that fear has cast upon them. Uh, actually, thinking back a moment. There were times earlier on in our journey when Avaro did think exactly that. But anyway. For Fia's sake, 
Any actions we undertake, Avaro doesn't think of it as any kind of burden. So, as for burdening the people around us, if we do end up burdening the people around us, we're going to take responsibility for it together. As the goddess that Avaro follows, and also as a lover who is walking the path with him. We're going to pick the path that brings us closest to happiness. So if the, ca if the castle is not powerful enough, Avaro will fix it up properly. As her apostle and as her lover, he isn't going to let Fia be connected to you. その理屈で考えるなら、なおさら確実に恋人を助けられる道を選ぶべきだと思うけれど。No, oh, would you shut up? This guy is stubborn. So, even following that train of logic, he still thinks that the most realistic way to save your lover is quite different. How sad. In the end, this is how it is. Hmm? Because the goddess wishes it, more than anything, you prioritize the goddess. More than yourself, goddess, goddess, goddess. Um, weren't you trying to pretend like you liked gods too? Well, the ones that sided with your people? それでは盲信しているのと変わらない。信仰を捧げる。家畜のような暮らしを自ら望んでいるのかな。And in the end, it's still an empty faith, he says. You give your prayers to them and you live like livestock for their sake. Hey, don't go wrapping us up in the world view that you happen to hold. At the very least, Avaro, for his part, thinks of the actions he's taken since meeting Fia have been happiness itself. So, if, and Fia's, Fia of her will won't bring unhappiness to people. So, Avaro believes in Fia. And following that and the connection they've formed, this has formed the action, the basis of action here. Well, if he has not got a lot of words for this, and just kind of whispers of Aro's name. Maybe she's blushing? <laughs> oh, even though this means cutting the connection with Gaidal. Well, when taking advantage of a connection that you have made, and when it's lost value to you, abandoning it themselves. You're certainly the expert, aren't we? Aren't you? So we don't take advantage of the bonds that we've built up, and we continue trying to get along with people. Hmm. Okay, no. No, yeah. And rather than cutting away people that we might not get along with it, we do ourselves try and save everybody. Mm, okay. 
This conversation is getting long. I think my the Japanese part of my brain is shutting down. Uh, anyway, Fia feels the same way, doesn't she? Okay, yes. She, in order to save herself, doesn't want to take advantage of the people she gets along with well, or even people that she hasn't met yet. So even if we cause suffering to other people and reach our objective by that means, she wouldn't be able to feel happy about it in the end. So Gaidal hearing Fia's words and seeing Avaro's unwavering stance on the subject again gives out a little sigh. Alright, he sees. In the end, we're ultimately going to reject him individually. Is that what we're saying? Oh no. They're saying their individual sentiments are against him and that's why they're rejecting him. Well, that's one way to come to a rejection. But still, to say it more bluntly, we actually are thinking that we don't want you to go to the holy ground. And if you were actually had your own castle, probably even more than up to now, you'd be able to cause suffering. That's something that bothers us as well. Ah, well spotted, Avaro. Oh, he sees. In that case, of our own company, our obstacles standing in his way and enemies of him. Yeah, that's how it turns out. We aren't going to let you get your hands on the way of creating these weapons. And after all, we know perfectly well what it means to be attacked by these weapons. Although that was an accident. Oh. Oh, Avaro was saying, not that we know what it's like for people to be attacked by these weapons, but we know what it's like for people to attack us because we have this taboo on us. <laughs> so he was kind of saying in a considerate way. Like we're protecting Gaidal by keeping another taboo out of his hands. Uh, he says, though, thanks for your consideration. But it will be all right. Gaidal, unlike us, will be able to pull it off well. Well, as for our part, thanks for the information you've given us. We very much enjoyed the souvenirs, even though we ultimately could not cooperate with you. Come on, Isa. Oh. He doesn't mind. With this, he can, without guilt, crush us completely. It's kind of funny how they're saying these totally mean things in all this polite, almost congenial way. So he's looking at us with those cold eyes of his. <laughs> Oh, 
グアラクーナ城塞を私のものにするよ。So, our negotiations are over. The next time we meet will be a, it will be a little rough. And he's going to take Guadalcuna Castle for himself. Ah, so in the end, you're showing your true colors. We're happy. Yeah, Alvaro. <laughs> oh, this is good. We too were kind of wondering about how to crush a certain Gaidal company that we want to crush. Do you have any ideas? So, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. In that case, he'll show you the way to his place. He'll welcome you. He's going to set up the, everything for your arrival. And he'll be waiting for us. Gahaha. I hope there aren't too many traps. So, saying that, with his usual peerless smile, he leaves. Oh, geez, I thought that would never be over. Avaro feels tired. It was a negotiation that was like a storm. Alright. Good work, Avaro. Rosaline says it was a splendid decision. Yeah, sorry for deciding it on my own. Well, nobody else was really supporting him one way or the other. And Eel's happy too. Avaro chose the right path. And Mikeu too is a little relieved at this outcome. So, that we aren't going to be cooperating with that particular human. Katarita thinks that her father is overjoyed at it. Alright, thanks for saying so. Although, Avaro was actually thinking that he was including everybody's feelings in his decision. Well, as far as realistic decisions go, it was actually the other way. But to take your feelings into account in making a decision is also... Well, it's something that you need to do too. Yeah, you do need to be... It's important to be true to your feelings. So, in the end, we're the ones who are relying on Avaro's decision making. So, have confidence and go do what you need to. Mikshuana thinks that it was the proper decision to protect the method of manufacture of these taboos. And in the end, we, we should be able to find a way to save Fia, after all. Hmm. So everybody's backing him up after the decision. Why didn't they do it during the decision? They were all like, everybody was... Fia was all conflicted, but everybody else seemed to almost completely neutral and now they're all saying oh yeah good decision good decision and here's why and here's why
Ah, okay. So I was going to apologize for Fia here. We could have put her at ease more easily, and he's sorry that we can't do it right away. But Avar was going to sh is definitely going to find a way to save her. So just wait for it. All right, she's got it. She too was really happy that Avaro was thinking of her in making this decision. So she smiles a bit and that's the end of that. So this way of saving Fia that Guidehall is apparently holding, we can't get our hands on now. But even under these circumstances, we wouldn't want to join hands with him. And going forward, we're going to have a battle with the Gaidal company. We better get prepared. Oh, is it over? Is it over? Oh god. Yeah. I'm thinking of something I wanted to say. Oh yes, that's right. So, we cast it like Avaro was descended from the rebellious humans and Gaida was descended from the same rebellious humans. But are those two people really the only ones? I mean, Avaro admitted... I, did, I noticed in my trial run, but I guess I didn't in our run here. That when they were talking about his parents, he said that he didn't know either of them. But if his mother or whatever was a human and descended from those humans... Hell, couldn't there be more people? If there are this many survivors, after... I'd say at a minimum it was 200 years ago, but... They don't give us any exact numbers. It could have been thousands of years ago. If there are two people alive from that bloodline, there are probably thousands. Ha. Huh. Anyway, that's speculation that can wait for another time. Thanks for watching, and I will see you later.